Thanks, Stephen. Uh, thanks, Mark, too. Um, they're remembering Hang Sun Hollow. Also, just like to dedicate um, my path reading anyway to the Freedom Bookshop, which was yeah. about uh, a mile down the road, which was five on uh, 10 years ago. But survives. <laughs> We had trouble with enmity because um, we got we got hungry, and um, of course, we did many things. So we decided we'd translate. That's our our way into this. We're going to read two poems each. I'm going to read from an Iranian poet who was in London called Ziba Kabasi. She's in her late thirties. Marek's going to read from. Julian Tuving, wonderful Polish poet who was writing in the 1920s and 30s particularly. That's enough going from me. So <laughs> There's a fragment. Always in my face you were looking for someone, it wasn't me. You could kill someone, always it wouldn't be me, not me at all. When I was looking at you from far away, you were nearest to yourself. My shoulder shivered just a little so you wouldn't see. Even under the stone when I was shuddering, I didn't shudder. Even when you pulled the nails from my fingers, I was painting them red. When you shaved my head, I kept plaiting the tulips of my hair so that in the morning they would sway in waves like the dawn breeze and wind themselves round my waist. When you blindfolded my eyes and push, pushed me to the hangman's tree, with my own feet I walked toward the poker tables so as to lose all that I had and come back and spit full into the mirror. Then in my face I would look for someone who's no longer there. My, the mirror of this house holds strange memories. In memoriam to a poet, oh poet, when in the end your song, death cuts short when it's at its peak, and when it rings for you its last goal, and when it brings the fate you seek, when from among our throng you are gone, who from the well of heart will hail you, who in the hell of grief will weep, who on this earth will then avail you? Would so a counsel to you keep, and all your grave will lavish tears, while silenced muses hark and howl, and stand proud by you, cheek by jowl? Not us. The zoilous sword, now at your head, will cut us loose of you instead. And once it's all declaimed and said, we'll be quite glad that you are dead. Wings, shoulder bones, wings, broken bones, feather, 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 shorn hair, no more, no more colour in her face, no more colour in the face she has at all. Nothing, nothing whatsoever of this world, from your world, nothing whatsoever. She doesn't even know her own name now, she doesn't even know her own name, no. Full of bruises, her eyes swollen by blows, bruises on the thighs, her skin torn, liver in ashes with all of this pain and all that's left of her is a scream, a scream, and so she screams. I'm daughter of the first mystery, secret, centuries, origins, deaf, dumb, blind, she screams, I'm dumb and know nothing of nothing. I who stitch thread spans of stars on the draped robe of night and put makeup on the face of the moon. I who am laughter, yes, laughter, ha, the laughs I have, ha, a ha comes from my scream, ha. And again and again and a third game till I can take no more and then again as far as I can go. Quick, count the lashing, ten by ten, bone by bone, blackened even into blackout. Wings, shoulder bones, wings, broken bones, feather, 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 shorn hair, 
No more, no more colour in her face, no more colour in the face she has at all. Nothing of nothing she has, nothing to tell you. She knows not her own name, doesn't know it at all. No, she doesn't, doesn't even know her own name. But yours she knows, oh, yours she knows. You, fucker, she knows yours very well. <laughs> Um, the theme of Tourette's seems to have come up today somehow. We're all talking about it back, backstage. Um, so get ready for some more rude words. Um, Tuvin was an incredible poet. Um, um, he was an enemy of everyone and hence a friend of all of us uh, who care about uh, language. And Stephen, we had a discussion about what translating poetry is whether you can translate poetry, or we always transcribe it, we always rewrite it, etc. The original, you might have noticed, was, in terms of its structure and, and kind of feel, was very 20s, 30s. Um, I've taken every single liberty possible with the translation of this next poem, um, which I believe is in the spirit of a guy who lived for truth and against every religious, political, ideological, institutional, uh, kind of uh, uh, fortification that, that, that poems exist to break down. It is his uh, year, the year of two, no one knows about it. Uh, it's my mission to uh, turn that around. A poem in which the author politely yet firmly requests the gathered throng go kiss his ass. You will be invited to participate if you feel like it happens. <laughs> Sponsors of supermodern armies and all you fragging gas cold diggers and bloody diamond hunting miners, corporate kings, election riggers, green paper tiger billionaires wanting more wealth to still amass, keeping in vaults what you call shares, I say to you, go kiss my ass. All you peacekeepers and prize winners, on mighty summit sitting pretty, treating the rest of us poor sinners as scum deserving of your pity, up at Kyoto and in Davos, hiding behind bulletproof glass, Pretending we're all global brothers, you might as well go kiss my ass. All you Olympian ubermenches, medals displaying the dollar sign, go lie back on your fitness benches and stick them where the sun don't shine. Chasing split second hat trick goals and pointless records to surpass, doping match fixing branding souls, now on the double, kiss my ass. Muck loving hipster, sons of bitches, pieces of shit and perfume smothered with your designer tails and britches, in wine bar strip joints always gathered. Dear ma'am, residing in a palace, with your crown jewels bold as brass, who thinks their beams are borealis, why don't they go and kiss my ass? <laughs> and all ye faithful flocking sheep, calling on heavens for your pity, your saints and gurus for me keep, on high horse clouds they're sitting pretty, and you, O oh father, with your willy, as useless as your finest mass, all of it sounding fucking silly. Why don't you kneel and kiss my ass? And all of you whom I have forgotten, or just omitted out of weakness, or out of fear of your hearts rotten, riddled with greed and celeb sickness, and you, dear censor of this verse, which you will never, ever pass, all of you heed this final curse. I leave you all kissing my ass. Thank you.